Welcome back to At Home Crypto. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Claymore's Miner. It is the software that I use and has been very well uh, recommended and stable um, software that can be used to mine for Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and other coins actually at the same time. Or if you want me to do uh, only really focus on one of the other coins. I focus mainly on Ethereum in these videos and with our miner. So we'll download from here. This link to the mega download will be down will be in the description also. It's always the same location. As you see there's older versions here. Look at our dates there. We're gonna download the one from August 1st. I'm using the zip because we're installing on a Windows 10 operating system. Make sure it's the 64-bit operating system you use. The other one I could also show you, but it's very similar. Most people seem to be using the Windows operating system. We have a Ubuntu version also there. But this is the one we want. Zip archive. Download a zip. Now that we've downloaded that, there we go. And this is our download software. Let's expand that for you. Play Moore's Dual Ethereum. It allows you to extract. We've already done that once you open it. Okay. So you could you know, honestly just begin, right? Double click that. The executable in there. FDCR Miner 64. But you'll be mining for somebody else. And we don't want that. You want to mine for yourself. I hope that you've already created your wallet. Um, let me know in the comments if you think I should. I've been focusing on mining, but haven't shown you how to create a wallet. Uh, for your Ethereum. So this Claymore's is unique that it does the uh, dual mining plus allows you to do Ethereum Classic in this latest version. Okay, first and foremost, readme.txt. Uh, it's annoying, but so many people do not read the readme, and it takes a good 15 minutes. You'll get comfortable with it. Okay, so I'm not going to read you every single thing in this. You can do that, but I do recommend you read it because there is lots of versions um, controls that are in this plus with each version there's a different update and you can skim every week and a half or so when you get the latest version okay first though keep in mind and this is with every version set your environment var variables before you start mining how do we set our mining um, environment variables let's see we have a few options you can go into your start bat file edit that and we've got it open here. Okay. Inside this, you could do. Okay. So we grab those, copy that line. Okay. And at the top here, with each one of those lines, say set x before. Set x. There, okay. do this for each line. I'm doing control C, double clicking, control C, go down, control V, control V, and control V. And give yourself room there. Since we're already in our start that bat file, notice this line here. That's your wallet. That is where you'll want to put your wallet. Right now it's the developer fee wallet. As it's downloaded, if you were to just change this and add that uh, and leave it as is, you'd be mining for the developer play more of this instead. So copy out of your wallet or wherever you might have it saved. Make sure it's correct and just double click on the developer's wallet. Hit Control V space because notice the EPSDFB was combined there. Okay. And we replace that with our own wallet. And of course, we'll always begin with 0x. Okay, so we've done already two changes in our start.bat file, haven't we? We've updated our wallet area, which is after e dash or dash e w a l, and we've set our environment variables here. Okay. Here, I'll go ahead and save that. And I recommend, really, you should save it um, two different copies. The original copy is something there. 
or something as it is. So copy, paste. And we'll keep a copy of the original is what we really should have done. But I'm just testing this, or not testing, I'm sorry, just going through quickly, go with some assumptions that you do that. But if you did not, save a copy of the original in case you need to go back. Plus, I have lots of other versions of this. Here, we also have our config.txt file. If you didn't want to configure everything in this copy, fat, this star.bat, you weren't comfortable with editing a batch file, you can go here to the config file. And this is where, when you double click on your F minor software, it'll actually look at that config file first. And then you can, anywhere you see, and this is pretty standard among all um, programming, is anywhere you see a comment uh, like this, the uh, hashtag or uh, number symbol, so everybody has a different name for this, the pound symbol of that, that means you've commented it out. For us, we want to keep in our config file all of the Ethernet one, or I'm sorry, Ethereum ones. There. Remember to change again your 0x, that's your, the developer's wallet. You want to put yours in there. Okay. Now, with some of these other settings you also want to keep. I'm leaving off the D pool and D wall, DPSW right now because of the. Um, I don't do, honestly, I don't do uh, decrypt, I don't do dual mining with that 1.5 mega hash that the dual mining goes for uh, I like I prefer to go to the uh, ethereum mining and focus 100% on that but you can do decred you can do C a coin those are the most popular uh, right now and both are very anonymous and uh, you know it's up to you do your own research if that's ones but if you wanted to you would just change you know delete the hashtag or pound symbol here and for those ones beginning in D and for this one is the Dual mine decrypt, this is where you go. Similar DWAL is for wallet for your decrypt, if that's what you were going to be uh, mining for. And then you delete the hashtag in front of the final ones ESM, mode, TT, and ASM. Okay. All right, so we also had set a different setting in there that we don't see in our config file. That's that set X there for these. We want to set the environment variable for those. And the way you do that, if you want to set it just in the computer, I want to start programs, right click my computer, properties, and again, notice okay, you have to set these. These are environment variables that we're looking to change. Okay, so now it's opened up our system. Properties, Advanced System Settings. Yeah, I should start with Windows 7 Home Premium is what we're using here. Finally, it opened. I'm impatient, but that wasn't the same thing. There, under the Advanced, which is what it opened automatically by the default, Environment variables. If so, if you have the AMD cards, you can set your environment variables in that area. Again, so that was system properties, advanced environment variables, and then under system system variables, hit new. Our variable name like this. Just make sure you copy it out correctly. You see, I'm missing that R. Don't do that or it won't work. Yeah, so I hit Control C for our variable name. And Control V here. It's acting slow. And then for the value, you set a zero. So that each line matches so our variable name. Interesting, it's not letting me add it here. Yeah, I guess I have to copy it in. Let's see, we spelled it wrong. 
That's interesting. In Windows 10, I didn't have to do this. There, I gotta spell it out. And make sure we have it correctly. GPU underscore force underscore 64 bit PTR zero. And we'll do that for each of those. Okay. So make sure you set them under the system variables, not the user variables. That's like your user profile, like usually your download items by default. So as I did with that, under system variables, new, again, make sure you type it exactly as it is. Yours most likely will let you, and I think that mine's just very slow today, I'll try out this new video software. So normally you can just copy that, and oh, there it goes. I was impatient. One zero zero. We got one zero zero because that's the value for this variable name. Here. Okay. When you after you make any changes here, it will you need to reboot in order to accept those. So you couldn't just begin that. Another item that you want to do, and this isn't something you can set in your start.bat file. So again, we're focusing on our config file here also because that's the first place it looks. But make sure you have 16 gigs of virtual memory size. Okay, and this actually tells you again, similar, even though I closed that, I did a reopen, so we went to our computer properties, the advanced system settings. And under performance, you have settings. There, under advanced. So again, we want the system properties, advanced tab, performance, settings. There's many clicks, but this is what it takes. And advanced, you don't need to change the best performance. But this virtual memory for the paging file, you do want to change. Okay. So we uncheck that. Yours would be set. Automatically, we're going to do a custom size. Okay, and again, it's 16 gigs. There is the recommended. So you type one six one one two three. There we go, and then let's just copy that out. Control V. There you go. Set. And OK. OK, so again, that's how we got in and changed our virtual memory settings. Don't accept the defaults. You won't be able to, you really wouldn't, you would get the worst errors. So I'm showing you also some initial things you'd want to do as you're setting up your miner. So now our config file has been updated. We've updated our virtual memory. We've updated our environment variables, which we also were able to put into our batch file. Mm -hmm. And we've downloaded and installed the software. What other items would we want to do before we begin mining by clicking the F DCR miner? The other item I recommend you do is download your latest drivers. If you use the AMD uh, card GPUs like we do, um, we use the MSI Radeon RX 580 models and go to support.amd.com in en-us download. This of course will be in there, but just do a search for AMD latest drivers. It should take you here. Make sure to manually select. Don't install some new software to install and detect. From there, choose the desktop graphics if you have the RX series or really any GPU that you're going to be using for that. And then under that, you'll find your series. Select your product. We have the 5X there. And what is our OS? For this, we have the Windows 10. Always use 64 bit. But they see they even give you some different options there. I could show you they're about to. That's pretty self explanatory. We'll display results and download to your download location. And once you've done that, it's just an executable that runs real quick. You'll run that on your mining server, uh, mining rig that has those drivers. So thank you very much. I hope this quick tutorial and demonstration of the mining software
Claymore's Minor was helpful. Please leave a comment and like and subscribe. Thank you.